I'm Kenny from Microbird, and this is the Microbird G5 electric vehicle maintenance and overview video. In the next couple of minutes, I'd like to go over some of the general maintenance aspects and troubleshooting tips of this vehicle in order to keep it running smoothly and efficiently. And of course, to inform you what to do should any maintenance be required. Microbird's electric vehicle is a new and innovative bus model that offers many features and advantages. So the maintenance and troubleshooting aspects of this vehicle are therefore going to be a little bit different from regular Microbird bus models. Now, before we go into detail, I want to give you an overview of the vehicle as well as highlight the elements that make this bus different from most buses you may have operated or worked with in the past. It's just to get you better acquainted with this particular model and its new technology. First, the vehicle itself is similar if not identical to the regular G5 model in that it meets all the overall standards of comfort and safety for which Microbird has long been reputed. Our buses are widely recognized as the best in the industry, and this model, if anything, is a brilliant example of our commitment to provide superior quality products and ensure the best possible experience through a legacy of bus innovations. But. This vehicle obviously doesn't have an engine exhaust system and it doesn't have a conventional combustion motor requiring oil and filter changes. The motor is 100% electric and will allow a driving range of 100 miles, roughly 160 kilometers. Keep in mind that this range can vary depending on outdoor temperature and driver habits. The vehicle is equipped with a two-speed transmission. The first speed has a lot of torque, allowing for good acceleration if needed. And the second speed is where you'll be able to maintain the optimum power ratio, which will increase your driving range. As per your driver performance indicator, we'll get back to that in a couple of minutes. The motor is oil cooled with an electric pump. The power steering pump is also electric, meaning both these components are no longer belt driven like in traditional motors. The motor has been tested extensively. There are more than 100,000 units in service and that's growing every day. Designed to last well beyond 600,000 miles, offering years of reliable service. Now, this electric vehicle obviously has to be charged. You can access the charging port right here. The lithium ion batteries, which can take more than 2,000 charging cycles, are inside the chassis rails, which have been fortified for extra strength and protection. You may be wondering, what is a charge cycle? It's when you charge the battery from completely empty to completely full. All partial charge cycles are simply added up. So for instance, a half charge cycle plus another half charge cycle would represent one full cycle and so on. So under normal operating conditions, the life of the vehicle should be quite comparable to a regular combustion model. Of course, charging a vehicle is different from filling it up with gas in that it can take a while longer depending on your charge station. It really is just a question of routine. Whether you park it for the day or at night, you must make a habit of plugging it in every time. A level two, 240 charge station, like the ones we have here at the Microbird plant, can take up to seven hours to charge the G5 from empty to full. Of course, charge times will vary depending on whether it's a partial fill or a full fill, and also on the power of your charge station. You'll find that the instrument cluster is configured almost identically to gas-powered buses. It's just that the information offered is different. A voltage meter at the bottom left simply informs the driver of whether the engine is turned on or off. The vehicle's state of charge is similar to the traditional fuel gauge in that it indicates the amount of energy that is left in the battery. And the dial opposite the speedometer is the driver performance indicator, or DPI, which shows the preferred engine revolution range to maximize your driving autonomy. Your preferred driving range is this eco-zone right here. There's also a touch screen in the center of the dashboard that provides more in-depth information on charge consumption, remaining mileage, and other technical information you'll find very useful when carrying out any maintenance and or repair. There's more information on this in the owner's manual. Now, driving this vehicle is very similar to driving traditional buses, although there are some noticeable differences. First, very little happens when you turn on the motor. You just turn the ignition key all the way to its end, allow it to come back as you would normally, and you're ready to go. There is indeed very little noise to indicate the vehicle is in operation. The only thing you'll notice when you turn the key to its on position is the instrument cluster coming alive. This is your indication that the vehicle is on or in its ready state. And the most noticeable noise emanating from the bus when moving is the sound of its wheels on the pavement. That's something to stay mindful of as people on the street may not always hear you approaching. 
But what might be the most important difference in driving this bus, though it may be subtle at first, is your approach to driving may change when you realize your habits have a significant impact on your driving range. When slowing down to a stop, you have the choice, if possible, of doing so smoothly in order to use the inertia of the vehicle to help regenerate the batteries. If you brake rapidly to your stop, there's little to no regeneration. The less you use the brake pedal and allow the electric motor to slow the vehicle, the more energy you put back into the battery. When you accelerate, you'll also find that you save a considerable amount of energy if you do so slowly instead of abruptly. And of course, while you're driving, you'll increase your range if you keep your engine speed within the preferred eco zone, as indicated on your driver performance indicator. Safety is extremely important at Microbird. Safety of the passengers, safety of the driver, as well as the safety of the people who maintain the vehicles. There are two important steps you must take before moving ahead with your maintenance. The first step is removing the key from the ignition, and we strongly recommend putting it in your pocket. This is your key to your bus, but it's also your key to safety. By removing it from the ignition, you ensure that the 400 volt electrical system is completely turned off. That's right, these vehicles are equipped with a 400 volt electric system, which must be turned off completely before accessing any internal compartments in order to ensure your safety. The second step is to remove the master disconnect switch, or MDS. This will double your safety by interrupting all the high voltage in the system, even if the key is inadvertently put back into the ignition. That switch is right here, behind the center console on the passenger side. Simply release the lever to remove the switch. The system is also equipped with inertia kill switches, which instantly interrupt all power to the vehicle upon impact or rollover. Like any other vehicle, this bus will require regular maintenance for regular things like brakes, discs, transmission, suspension, etc. And these upkeep requirements will remain the same as they always have been for fuel-based vehicles. The difference is you may notice some of these systems actually require less attention. You can find the maintenance schedule in the owner's guide, which will indicate quite precisely what to verify and when to do it. Where things change is with the electric motor, which is actually designed to be almost maintenance-free. The main electrical components are pretty compact and are actually not designed to be opened at all. So, the first thing you want to do when beginning any maintenance or troubleshooting is to access the vehicle status software through the touchscreen display located at the center of the dash. This will tell you right away if there are any faulty or malfunctioning elements in the system. Now, should you find anything not working properly through the vehicle status software, you can consult the manual for the corresponding error code and take the appropriate recommended action to resolve the problem. If the problem is more complex, you can contact your Microbird agent who can actually access your vehicle remotely through a specific access port. They can then look more deeply into the system and identify the underlying problem and recommend the right course of action moving forward. To access the diagnostic port, your dealership or organization was provided with a diagnostic toolkit. This allows for remote connection and deeper insights into the system. For more information on the toolkit, please talk to your Microbird dealer and they'll be able to guide you further. Like I said, the system was designed to be nearly maintenance free. We don't expect many problems to arise with the electric motor, if any. The thing to remember is to never open the battery compartment or manipulate the battery components. Just like you wouldn't open the batteries in your flashlight, right? Your maintenance task will consist mostly of a visual inspection, monitoring for fluids or leaks or excessive heat, if any. In case of replacement of components, we recommend that be carried out by a trained professional. And all in all, that's pretty much it. Like I said, the G5 electric bus is built for minimal maintenance. So make sure you take those two important safety steps we mentioned, removing the key from the ignition and removing the master disconnect switch before doing anything. Go through your normal visual inspection and call your Microbird dealer if you need to. That's what we're here for. You see, at Microbird, we have a long history of supporting our clients and customers through a legacy of bus innovations and a long line of reliable industry-leading vehicles. More than 50 years of experience have led us to where we are today, and we're confident that you'll adopt this new technology as we move forward with all its advantages. We're glad you took the time to watch this video, and we hope it was useful. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you're looking for further training, please call your Microbird dealer if that's what we're here for. Thank you for your continued trust. Drive safe.